Okay, let's turn slowly. Slowly. I said slowly. Ah, I'm like a drunk taxi driver. Somehow I just can't feel this drone. The controls don't feel natural. Something is off. I definitely need to tune these settings a bit. Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Since you clicked on this video, chances are you felt exactly like I did when I tried flying my drone in manual mode for the first time in real life. It just felt totally unnatural. And there is a reason for that. You might already have 10, 20, even 30 hours on the simulator, but once you switch to the real drone, it feels like starting all over again. That's because the rates in the sim don't match your drone's actual rates. I found a way to make your simulator rates almost identical to your drones, in my case, the DJ Avata 2. If you're using the liftoff simulator, go to Tools, Workbench, Drone Editor and pick the drone that's closest in specs to your real one. For the Avata 2, I found out that the Vortex 150 Mini is the closest match. So, I made a copy of it, rename it Avata 2 and boom, we are ready to go. Once you've selected your drone, click Select, then Edit Flight Control Settings. Don't worry, it's easier than it sounds. At the top you see rates. Choose Actual from the model menu. This matches how DJ displays rates in the goggles. Now start tweaking the settings slowly. Begin with center sensitivity. Then click Save, go back and hit Test Flight at the bottom right to see how it feels. Oops, yeah, I need to tune some settings up. Then go back, make more adjustments if needed. And test again. Repeat the process for max rate and expo. Always using test flight to feel the differences. My advice, first find the rates that feel best for your flying style inside the sim. Then keep practicing with those same rates until you're comfortable and consistent. Only after that, apply them to your real drone and voila! you are instantly feel more connected, more natural and way more in control. You can also challenge yourself in the sim with different modes. For example, racing mode. This helps you train your reflexes and build muscle memory. And that's the real secret behind FPV flying. The best FPV pilots already have their perfect rates and they've trained their brains to feel the drone naturally. They've developed reflexes and muscle memory. That's why flying in acro manual mode looks so effortless for them. Everybody makes mistakes, but it's way better to make most of them in the simulator, so you can learn from them, right? Okay, let's win this race, shall we?
So, if you want to become a better FPV pilot, find your best rates in the sim, practice with them daily, build that muscle memory and reflex responses. Then take it to the real world and show everyone what you're made of. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. More FPV tips and tutorials are on the way. See you in the next one. Fly safe and have fun.